balls. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Do you ever remember that you're supposed to host people that are coming over and they're coming over like right now and you didn't have anything for them to eat? Or like you're going to a party and you just like, oh shit, I have to bring something and I forgot to bring something. Do you ever have that? I feel like you should always have an oh shit, people are coming over recipe so that you can just pull it out of your ass whenever people are coming over and you forgot to prepare. In this case, you are the oh shit people that are coming over. I totally forgot to prepare anything for Tasty Tuesday this week. It was Christmas and it's like like Vlogmas and it's Christmas shopping and it's house shopping and there's all this stuff going on I totally forgot that I have to film Tasty Tuesday. I didn't have anything for you. Oh shit people are coming over So I found this recipe for a traditional Christmas cookie from the edgy veg You should check them out link in the description. It's a traditional Christmas cookie It's also called the Mexican wedding cookie, which is kind of cool. We got married this year Hey, slap it high and yeah, I had all the ingredients in my pantry. So I hope you like it. Oh shit Let's make this dish. This will probably be the last Tasty Tuesday before the end of the year. Huh? Sad. So I just want to let you know that these aprons are now 10% off through the first week of January, I think. I don't know. Check the link in the description for details. But yeah, they won't get to you by Christmas, but they're 10% off now. It's kind of like an after Christmas sale, but before Christmas, because I won't see you after Christmas. So yay! Get one! I really do just want to do a good job. Step one, we're going to preheat our oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Boom. And we're going to line a cookie sheet with parchment paper. I already did that. Now, in a stand mixer, if you have one, or a medium bowl with a regular hand mixer, we're going to put the following ingredients. Are you ready? Can you handle it? I'm not, but I'm trying. Okay, we're gonna do half a cup of butter, which is one stick of butter. I'm using Earth Balance. You want it to be cold. A fourth a cup of powdered sugar. Sugar, I hardly know her. Oh shit, but she's coming over. One teaspoon vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. That's like a pinch. Okay. If you have like big meaty thumbs, that was definitely a pinch. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna cream them together. This attachment? Yeah. Okay, plug it in. There we go. Get cream. That doesn't sound good. You know what I meant. I don't really know if I'm supposed to scrape the sides. I don't know what I'm doing, but maybe I'm doing it. Yeah, okay, we're done. We have no time. People are coming over. In a separate bowl, we're gonna combine the following. Don't worry, it's not that many ingredients. It's only two ingredients. I'm kind of sad that we have to make another dirty dish, but one cap of all-purpose flour. Thank you, I'm busy. Ho, ho, hold on. Cause Santa. And a half a cup of finely chopped almonds or walnuts. I have walnuts, they are not finely chopped, but guess what, I have machines for this. Haha, -ha, finely chopped. I love machine slave. Those are the only two ingredients we're mixing in this unnecessary dirty bowl. But it's okay, anything for our guests. Okay, we're done. This is so heavy. My machine slave is so heavy. Okay, now we're gonna gradually add the flour mixture, beating after each addition. Is that enough? We'll find out. Oh, I forgot. I unplugged one slave machine, so use another one. You're up. Okay, new addition. We need to mix it until it comes together like a doe. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Is that a Christmas song? Okay, last addition. This looks pretty doe-like to me, but I don't know. Last Tasty Tuesday, 2017, folks. That's pretty good. That tastes like butter and sugar. Huh? Who knew that would be good? Okay, so that's what we're looking at. And now we're gonna shape these babies into balls and place them one inch apart on our baking sheet. Balls. Okay, this part is boring for you. Come back when we're finished. And we have them all prepared on this cookie sheet now. Mine only made 11 balls. In the recipe, it says it would make 12 balls, so I guess my balls are bigger than average. We're gonna pop these in the oven for 15 minutes, but you should check on it early because you do not want to overbake them. We want them to melt in your mouth, not crumble in your mouth. Do you know what I'm saying? I want these balls to melt in your baby mouth. So I'm gonna set the timer for 13 minutes. See what happens with that. Cool. Okay, relax. Then we're gonna prepare a bowl with half a cup of powdered sugar. I'm gonna use the same bowl that had the flour and the nuts because I don't wanna wash more dishes. I already got people coming over. Oh shit, powdered sugar, hello. I'll see you when these balls are ready. Okay, I think our balls are done. We're just gonna take them out. Um, they don't look golden brown to me, but maybe they are, and you don't wanna overcook them. That was like the main note in this recipe. Are these golden brown? I can't tell. I don't wanna risk it. I'm gonna take them out. Okay, you're done. 
Now, it says in the recipe to transfer these to a wire rack to cool. I don't have a wire rack, but I have a why not counter. Huh? Maybe that works? Yeah. Wire? I hardly know her. Last one, 2017, going out with a bang, great. We're gonna wait till these are cool enough to handle. Right now, they're too hot to handle, and frankly, their ego is very unattractive to me. So, we're gonna give them like, I don't know, two to five minutes, and then we'll do the next step, but we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves. There's people coming over, shit. Okay, our cookies have been cooling for like two to five minutes, and I think they're cool enough to handle a little bit. We're gonna take our bowl of powdered sugar, and we're gonna roll each cookie in the powdered sugar. Get them nice and coated, and more delicious. Guys, I'm having a ball. 11 of them. Okay, almost done. Guys, happy balls a days. Happy ball a days. Happy ball today. It's definitely time to quit anytime now. Okay, now that our cookies are coated in one coat of powdered sugar, we're gonna let them cool completely. I'm not a cookie expert, but it's probably like 10 minutes. What should we do then? Okay, now that our cookies are completely cool. Yeah, you're very cool. Get over yourself. We're gonna roll them again in powdered sugar. Yay. It's amazing what butter, flour, and sugar can do. That's all this is. Oh, and some nuts. Nuts and balls. Do you think that dentists make a killing after the holidays? Because, like, I don't know when else I eat this much sugar. That's not even a joke. That's just a pondering question that I'm having while rolling these cookies in pure sugar. And yay! That was super quick and super easy. I present to you Santa's snowy balls. I think the original recipe calls them snowball cookies, but mine's way more immature and kind of South Park reminiscent. Anyway, I'm gonna see if they're tasty. We're gonna see if they're tasty. And when you have people over and you have limited ingredients and limited time, you have a recipe. Thank you, Edgy Veg, for this. Let's see if they're tasty. Yep, they look like balls. Okay. Okay. These are Santa's snowy balls. Santa's snowy balls. Yes. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I'll tell you in a second. Yep. You probably taste what's in them. <laughs> What is this? First of all, like, do you like it? Yeah, oh yeah, it's good. It's tasty? Yeah, it's very tasty. It's tasty! Is it a butter cookie? What is it? It is. It's oh, like- it's a butter cookie. Mm-hmm. It's basically, well, it's a Mexican wedding cookie. Good. It's basically butter, sugar, and nuts. Correct. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Very good. And then pretty quick to make. Like, limited ingredients and very, like, quick to make. Yeah, these are really good, man. Hell yeah! Cool. Merry Christmas, man! Or happy holidays. Merry Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Whatever holiday have been invented since then. Hanukkah, you get like 15 presents. That's pretty good. I think it's eight. And then Christmas, you get as many presents as As many as presents you want. as your parents are rich enough to afford. That's why you should check out Christianity, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is our last Tasty Tuesday of uh, 2017. Is it I'm really? going to be, yeah, I'm wow. going to miss you guys. Thank Crazy. you for watching. Uh, sincerely, um, no, all jokes aside, just thank you for watching this year. I really appreciate you. And uh, buy an apron. They're 10% off. Oh, you, you started getting touching. I know. I don't know how to break and it. You had to sell me something. I had to sell you something. Well, oh. I was using a marketing technique called. No, it's good. Yeah, thank you. I was listening to you. Thank you, thank you. Before I come, I'm watching a video, but I'm thinking about other stuff. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, really, from the bottom of my heart, and I'm like, oh, I'll work up for this. Yeah. And then you're like, buy my shit. So did you buy one? I probably will think of it. Okay, cool. No, thank you so much. I'm still doing Vlogmas, so you could watch that, but last Tasty Tuesday. Love you guys. Subscribe to Numbers Any of This. Bye. There's never a time during these videos, just so you all know, where I'm not holding her butt. Okay, God bless. <laughs>